Good morning, everybody. Joey Only here from Interior Weather and Wilderness Watchers on Facebook. Please subscribe to me on YouTube, Joey Only Caribou Weather Dude. You can find me on Twitter, Interior Weather One, Weath with an E in the end, almost weather, but a one instead of an R. Okay, um, so let's go to the battle board and see what's going on here in BC today. The developments are expected to be a little stronger than I was hoping for, so uh, uh, this is making us nervous. We knew that there was going to be sort of an upper level ridge going through today, and um, unfortunately, with the heat uh, still in effect, a lot of places still under heat warnings. Looks like we're going to see chance of severe thunderstorms today. All right, looking at the British Columbia battle board right now, all kinds of different uh, warnings and watches in a place. Uh, I mean, what's this one? Heat warning for North Coast. I mean, okay, so now things are weird. Arrow Lakes, East Columbia, or sorry, East Kootenai, Kootenai Lake, Nicola, North Thompson, Okanagan Valley, Oh, uh, Shushwap, South Thompson, you are all under severe thunderstorm watch. Let's have a look at these thunderstorm watches today. Conditions are favorable, threat, very strong gusts, large hail and heavy rain. That's, again, location Thompson, Nicholas, Shushwap, North Okanagan, including Vernon, Arrow Lake, Slocan Lake, North Kootenai Lake, and East Kootenai, North, including Invermere, time span today and early this evening. Hot and dry conditions may lead to dry lightning in some areas. Be watching for smoke, friends. Very strong wind gusts can damage buildings, down trees, and blow large vehicles off the road. They can also spread fire. Lightning kills and injures Canadians every year. Kills 10 Canadians a year. Injures about 160 seriously. Remember when thunder roars go indoors. If you can hear it, it is close enough to hit you. In the daytime, you cannot see lightning until it is close. So when you're hearing thunder, it's no further than 15 kilometers away. Be safe. If you want to get thunderstorm pictures, be in a vehicle. Be in the house. Be in a safe location. Uh, and uh, watch the hair on your arm. Severe thunderstorm watches are issued when atmospheric conditions are favorable for the development of th uh, thunderstorms that could produce one or more of the following. That's large hail, damaging winds, torrential rainfall. Well, we probably will see damaging winds, uh, maybe large hail, torrential rainfall maybe in in localized areas. So let's just hope that, uh, that some of that rain gets spread out. But the problem with thunderstorms is it makes everything tighter and shorter and smaller. Air quality statements are still in effect down there, by the way. Over the next uh, 24 to 48 hours, smoke is still an issue. And what about heat warnings? Boundary, Fraser Canyon, North Coast, North Thompson, Okanagan Valley, South Thompson. Here in Wells, it's probably like 20 degrees right now. West Kootenai. So lots of heat. Lots of heat right now. Well, we want to get a look at where these thunderstorms may be today. Let's zoom right in and hit thunderstorms. We'll look at uh, Cape Potential. So we already see this morning at 11 a.m. there is Cape potential already. And maybe what I should do is just check to see if there's a thunderstorms actually happening right now already. Because there probably is. Yes. So already we have lightning happening in the central interior. You could uh, find a lightning tracker. There's lots of them online. And get better, uh, more localized details about this. But as you can see, it's uh, apparently in the Monashi Mountains uh, somewhere uh, north of Castlegar. So... Uh, anybody in that area along the uh, highway between Vernon and the Farquhar Ferry, you might be wanting to watch for that. So let's get back to that probably a non-severe thunderstorm at the moment. But as we go, and we'll just go in the short order here, the Cape rising in the interior, especially to the east of Kelowna and Okanagan Lake. But then as the afternoon goes, it seems to be rising more to the north. And then we start to see strong convective. I mean, this map's got a bit of a gap here and it's a uh, feed but i mean look at these convergence zones uh up towards uh clear water and wells gray park convergence zones winds coming in all directions that could lead to some very very strong thunderstorm developments and already out my window i can see that it wants to create thunderstorms so i'm way up here in wells where we do have a little bit of this energy expected this afternoon but in my opinion it's just forming here and going to be moving out we won't see much of it and this is uh expected uh for eight o'clock tonight but some real strong potential for thunderstorms in the meantime. The Ventusky map is not being very helpful, so let's go to Windy because it's got that strange gap. Let's just go to windy.com and we'll hit rain thunder. So by 5 p.m. all the way up to McBride. So yeah, we could see it here in Wells, it's looking like. A bit of a chance of it. Down to Blue River, Revelstoke. This is at 6 p.m. again, north of Cranbrook. Lots of energy around Kamloops, some around Williams Lake and into the Chilcotin. So we've been seeing this like every day. It's 
for some of you, getting tiring, sure. And we know that there's more coming still this week. Have a brief look at Tuesday, and you see there's just some scattered and weak potential, but those popcorn storms will fire. The way things have been, we know. And then Wednesday's the day. Widespread, strong thunderstorms south of Williams Lake. You can hop over to earth.nullschool.net. And we're just going to take a look at uh, wind patterns. So at uh, what we're trying to find here is that trough. It's starting to show up a little bit now at the 700 millibar level. As we get closer to the jet stream, now it's pretty strong across southern BC. And uh, this is into the jet stream range for sure. Strong crosswind at the upper level. So we have that ability there, and then it disappears once you get above the jet stream. We have that ability there to have wind shear that might get storms especially aggressive. So I'm not gonna lie, BC, this isn't great news. Definitely Monday and definitely Wednesday look to be very strong thunderstorm days, so everybody be ready because uh, we are in the forest fire conditions aren't great. There's been a little bit of rain through the interior, so it's it's uh, maybe not as extreme as it was last week, but uh, it's definitely still able to burn. This is a concerning week. There's going to be some hard days ahead and some big stories. Stay safe, everyone out there. Take care, and thank you for supporting the group, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers because that's when YouTube starts paying me to make content. That would help my life.